Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris and today we got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> that we Today we have to do a tag video. I was tagged by Jim of uh, Jim Combs. I'll link his channel below. And the way that it was put to me was the products that you would use and then later I heard for the rest of the year. So my video is these are the products that I would use if it's the only thing I could use for the rest of the year, all right? Before I get to that, I have to give a special shout out and thank you to Gray Dog. Gray Dog sent me this brush that he turned from Bamboo, which if you've followed the channel over the years, you'll remember me battling with the Bamboo or talking about battling with the very invasive Bamboo I had in my backyard. And Jim turned this from Bamboo and it is quite beautiful. I love the handle style. It's perfect for me. I love this style of handle. And he put a Timberwolf knot in it, which feels super soft. So I'm looking forward to, to using this. It means a lot to me. Um, thank you, Gray Dog. I really appreciated it. It means a lot and I absolutely love it. And also he put in this, which is a, uh, I believe, Ever Ready uh, 1914, I think, which is in terrific condition. And so we'll leave it this way for now. We'll use this on a video where we use the brush and this razor. Of course, as a thank you to Gray Dog. I must say, now and then you receive something like that and it just, it, it just makes you feel really good. I think over the years I've done between the two channels, well over 1300 uh, videos and you get something like that and, and you just, feel appreciated. So thank you, uh, Gray Dog. I really appreciate it. And thank you actually to all the supporters, but Gray Dog, thank you. I really like this. So that will be coming soon. Um, okay. For the products, I did it a little bit differently and I'm probably cheating a little bit, but I got to do it my way. <laughs> it's my shave. I'm doing it my way. Um, so the brush, which I've already loaded to try to save a little time is my Envy Shave 8-Ball. That's the one I'd use for the rest of the year just because it's one of my favorite brushes. I have a lot of experience with it and I love it. That knot holds up today and this is probably, I don't know, four years old and that knot still holds up today against the newer synthetic knots is quite good. Now, my favorite scent by far is Creed Aventus. It is my favorite fragrant, fragrance of all time. I wear it spring, summer, fall. I do not care anything about anybody who says, you can't wear it in the fall. No, I wear it when I want to because I love it. I don't care what season it is. If you're wearing it, it's the one that gets the most compliments all the time, regardless of season. Trust me. So I'm using products that are of that fragrance. The Fine Platinum Cream. The Sterling Executive Man Soap. And I know people are watching this going, wait a minute, he, we said one soap. I'm combining all these. The, uh, <laughs> the, the Captain's Choice Venture Cream. The Captain's Choice Venture Soap. And I actually put all these things in my Captain's Choice Bowl, which is, if I just had to pick one, and the, uh, it would probably be the Captain's Choice just because this one is copper, it's hand uh, hammered, and I really love it. And it gives you just enough room, but not too much room. It's got great ridges in it. And so I'm gonna load up a little more because this has been sitting for a little bit. Uh, oh, the scent on this is just fantastic. And this is a Greed, Creed, excuse me, Aventus type, all of these products, Sterling Executive Man and Club Man. Oh, excuse me, I said Club Man, but I meant to say Captain's Choice, um, Venture, uh, the pre-shave would use the, uh, cause especially since it's warming up, we'd use the PAA Ice Tube 2.0. And I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face and get started before we make this a, another long video. Um, again, we're going into, we're in spring now here where I am and we'll be going into, you know, the warmer weather, we're already, we've had weather already up in the 80 degrees, you know, 80, almost 90 Fahrenheit. So you can do the conversion if you're on <laughs> Celsius. Uh, the razor charcoal, just because I love it. It's nimble. It is almost mild aggression, I would call it. The blade, because it is my reference blade, 
I would use is Astra just because it's the one I've used the most over the years. But in this shave, I'm actually still using a feather because I just want to use it up. But I would generally use the Astra if it's what I was going to use for the rest of the year. Now, I've seen some people who said they were taking this like forever, but that's not realistic for me to use anything forever. Only one thing forever. That's just not realistic. But let's just assume. Oh, that feels good. This brush, I must tell you, holds up. These were, these knots were shared by uh, Peter Wolf and um, Nathan Clark. I want to say probably going on four years ago now when they came out. And they were terrific. Absolutely terrific. And by the way, if you know of other products that are, I know of Razor Rock Emperor, for example. If you know of other products that also have Creed Aventus scent, please comment below because I will get those too. I'll basically get most anything that's a good quality product in in a Creed Aventus scent. I, I, I basically like all, I like every Creed Aventus inspired uh, scent that I've ever tried, you know. They just make phenomenal sense, or they just seem to agree with me. They're not the, you know, earthy, what I call B.O. earthy. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of water. And by the way, that's one of the things I want to touch on a little bit today is lather. And I've been talking about this quite a bit recently. Um, folks, make the type of lather that works best for you. I'll get comments from time to time that goes, that was a terrible lather. And I'll say, how did the shave go? And probably 99% of the time on my channel, and like I said, over 1300 videos, the volume of cuts that I have sustained in all those videos is this, you know, over the years. Oh, that feels good. Love this charcoal level two. Anyway, so I make the type of lather that works best for me in almost all scenarios. And it's proven and you can see them, they're recorded for everybody to, to watch. And so if you, here's the way I look at lather. So first, first rule, make the type that works best for your conditions and your style of shaving, be it straight razor, DE, whatever the case, cart even. Second would be, what is the purpose of lathering? Is it to get on YouTube? And point to and go, woo, look at me, I'm number one lather. Or is it to get a clean, comfortable, close shave without creepers, reaper, weepers, cuts, irritation? What's the, what's the objective of lathering? Is it just to look good so you can boast and feel good about yourself? Or is it to nail the shave? My objective is to nail the shave every single time and try to obtain a close, comfortable, shave without weepers, creepers, cuts, irritation. And so if my lather lends itself to that purpose, I'm happy at the end of the shave. And that's when I measure it. I don't measure it during the shave. I measure it at the end. How did the shave go? Um, now that said, if you are a person who wants to achieve a certain look of a lather, that is entirely okay. All right. It, it's okay. It doesn't, but for me, the purpose of the lather is utilitarian. It is to obtain a good shave. It's like putting gas in your car to make it go. You know, it's not, doesn't look pretty. You know, you're just making it go. And the lather for me is to make the shave work and make it go. And as you can see, um, generally it, uh, it works and has been highly successful over many, many years. And granted, I might have, uh, I don't know, 1,300 and some videos, but I have shaved in this style at least since 2012, 2013, somewhere in there. And I've probably not missed very many days during that time. Certainly, I would say on average, maybe probably less than 10 days a year. So you do the math on all those shaves and you can look at the amount of cuts over the years on the channel. And I can assure you that even when I'm not on camera, 
I've cut myself maybe in those years. <sighs> I don't know. 30 times, maybe. I'm, I'm probably overdoing it, actually. And so you can see it, it, it works. And so if something works, you go with it. And I don't do things for the purpose of, uh, unless there's a very specific challenge or purpose. For example, the 10 minute challenge, I would never do that video if I had not been challenged because it's not something I would ordinarily do. And so if I'm challenged to do something, sometimes I'll do it a bit differently. But generally, I would just do it the way I would ordinarily do it, unless it's there's some purpose or challenge or something. So the lathering for me is both, uh, I like the feeling of, you know, painting on my face. And I like the smell of the soap. And I like that it gets me to the end that I desire a, a, a high percentage of the time. And so that's why uh, I make the style of lather that I make because it's highly successful for me. It may not be worth a hoot for you if you did it this way with your set of conditions, but it has been proven to, to work very, very well for my set of conditions and my equipment. And if you really want to know the truth, people, if you master your equipment, your blades, your razors and your hardware instruments, you can get by with just about any kind of lather. That's just, I'm just going to let it out. It's a secret that I'm exposing it now. A lot is made of lather looking a certain way, but I'm going to tell you, and I may do it one day. I may just go with the most thin lather possible and show you. And I'll even use an aggressive razor with the feather aggressive blade and show you that you can, you can uh, get a great shave with very little lather. I could throw on some head slick right now. It won't even hardly be visible and I can nail a shave with no problem. I've shaved with Irish Spring Bar Soap, Dawn Dishwashing Liquid. Folks, do not make too much of needing these crazy lathers. Um, again, most of the people who do it will tell you readily they enjoy it. It's part of the enjoyment and it 100% is, but it is not required. And so my, my, uh, my judgment on a lather is for me, this is just me. If I make the best looking lather on video, but I cut myself and I got two or three weepers, that's not good for me. To me, that is not a great shave. That is not great. Now for some people, they make the best looking lather ever and they'll get two or three weepers and that's okay for them because their standard is different from mine in terms of the shave and their face is different. And there are many, many reasons. Some people just have a hard time with the type of skin they have. Their skin, you know, is very difficult to work with and it doesn't tolerate, you know, it's rough depending on the blade they use and so on and so forth. So it's, it's difficult for them. But for me, my standard is I don't want cuts, weepers, creepers, irritation at the end of shave. And I want it to feel good and I want it to be pleasurable. And that's my standard. So I could make the best, the most thickest, densest, most, most thick, dense lather right now and just work the heck out of it and make it out to here. But if I get weepers and creepers and irritation and I don't enjoy it, that is crap. For me, that does not suit my purposes. So, ultimately, every single individual. And by the way, this uh, this tube, ice tube, the cooling is still there. That's phenomenal. But I'm getting the Creed Aventa scent. That's exactly how I wanted to do it. So anyway, make the type of lather you want to make. Do not focus so much on the way it looks, unless that's a point of personal pride for you. If it's a point of personal pride and you want it to look a certain way, then go ahead and make it. But I can tell you that there are many products that I can and have used on this channel that 
won't produce much lather, but will lend to an almost perfect shave. Although it may not be quite as enjoyable, it will lend itself to an outstanding shave. And ultimately, isn't that what we're after? Isn't that why we do this? We talk about greatest shaves of your life. Is it greatest lather of your life or greatest shaves? Me, I'm in it for the shave, you know. The end, you know, I want to have done a great job. I want to have mastered my tools and used them in a way that gives me the result that I want. And if the, at the end of that time, my result is close shave, enjoyable, no creepers, weepers, cuts, irritation, I'm freaking happy. And that's that will always be my personal bar for success. And once again, you can watch the many videos and see that most of the time that's what we get. And it's rare that we don't. And so don't worry about it. Especially, this is mostly for new YouTubers, especially. Don't get hung up on that. Don't beat yourself over it, up over it. And don't let anybody tell you that what you're doing doesn't work or isn't correct if it's working for you. All right. Look at that. Residual slickness. There's no lather. Oh, I'm going over it. Look at that. Oh, risky, risky. <laughs> well, we. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Feels great. Let me rinse the face. We'll come back and get into the post, which I also have a number of products for. Stay tuned. And all right, we have our Lancaster Razor Works towel here. Just patting ourselves dry. Fantastic shave, by the way. Excellent. Which is what we look for. I'm going back to our Thayer's today because this is what I would use for the rest of the year. We used the Humphreys yesterday. I do like it. I'm going to have to use it regularly before I can render a, a decision on it. The Thayer's smells better to me. The uh, Humphreys has more of a medicinal uh, scent to it. It might be better for your skin. I don't really know. Okay, let's look at what we have used. I must tell you, the the Ice 2 by PAA, it's still kicking. This is a terrific pre-shave if you like menthol. This is very, very nice. I'm still getting um, really good cooling. So even after the soap has been removed, I've been through three passes, still cooling great. A-OK. -okay. Fine Platinum Shaving Cream. <laughs> we had the uh, Captain's Choice Venture, Sterling Executive Man. By the way, this Captain's Choice was cream. Here's the soap. I know that's not my name, doesn't like this soap. I do. Your mileage may vary. We had our Envy Shade brush, which still has good stuff in it. And we had our charcoal goods level two uh, with a feather blade. Ooh, feather. Feather blade in there. It worked terrific. And now for the post. And I have a number of products here. Fine Platinum, which sadly, Fine Platinum doesn't hang around the way it used to. These new products, um, some of them. The first, that smells so good. The first uh, Fine Platinum that I ever got, you could put it on and several hours later, you could still smell it. Not so much the case with this, although it still smells terrific and I still like it. We'll follow that up with the Fine EDT. Sadly, this does not hang around that long. I will fix it. I will show you how to fix it in just a moment though. Um, you might get a couple of hours out of this maybe, um, but we'll spray a little bit out. It does smell great, but it was around, I wanna say close to 30 bucks at West Coast Shaving. I tried those two a number of times um, in the morning and within a relatively short period of time, couldn't smell them. So I went out on Amazon and I got this Club de, Club de Nuit, is that how you say it? Intense Man, this brings it. So you give yourself uh, a couple of bursts of this, this does hang around. In fact, I used this one morning, it's like 4.30 a.m. Um, I had a meeting, 11, and someone said, boy, you smell good. 
It was this, this will hang around. And this is around at the same price, close to the same price, if not a little bit cheaper than the fine platinum EDT. This one right here, if you look at that name on there, and I'll put a link for you below if you're interested in getting this one on Amazon. Smells great. When you first uh, spray it, it's a nice citrus burst and it cools down. Then it smells like Creative Ventus. And yes, I have used the real Creative Ventus before, so I do know what it smells like. Um, this one will stick around. Uh, these two, not so much. Uh, not as much. Not as much as the old. The first version of uh, Fine Platinum it was very good. And if we were to use bombs, which we normally don't, but we're going to use for the purpose of this video, we'll throw on some Captain's Choice Venture just to put on because they included bombs, so I'll use one today. Although I normally wouldn't, but since I've been out in the sun and so on, I could probably use it. I generally would not wear it. I just don't care for bombs. But that's the way we would do it. I would be smelling like Creed Aventus every day for the rest of the year, and I would enjoy it. It is one of my favorite, it is, is my favorite fragrance. So if you have Creed Aventus type scents, uh, other soap makers that make it, let me know what they are. Maybe I'll check them out. I want to thank everybody for watching. Big thanks to Gray Dog for the the razor and the brush. It means a lot. Big thanks to all of you who are watching. I really appreciate you joining me, and I hope you'll be back to join us again soon. Until next time, I've been your host, Chris, or CDB, and I am saying it's your shave, do it your way, and God bless.